Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use all of the main tools in the main toolbar in Abyss Paint X. There are tons of tools here and this is going to be a larger video because I'll be going over each and every one in basic format. I won't be going super into details with any of them, but I do have individual videos on probably all of these. So let's get started. So firstly, up here we have Transform. If you click on this tool, it will essentially just transform whatever layer you are on. You can move the things on that layer around. You can make them bigger or smaller. You can rotate them. There's a bunch that you can do with this. You can even do it in different versions. So we have the perspective form here where you can distort it in different ways. And the mesh form here where you can also distort it in different ways. You click the tick to be done with it, or the X if you don't want to go through with it. Then next you have the magic wand. The magic wand is essentially the select tools version of the bucket. So you can click any space with the magic wand. Like for example, let's just click in this arrow over here. And as you can see, it will have selected in there. So you can only draw within the selected area and it will cut off anything else. You can use this on any layer, but you know, you do have to be careful with which one you're selecting and which one you're painting on. Then we have the lasso. The lasso is also a selection area type tool. Essentially, you can draw a shape like this and it will work the same way as the magic wand and make a selection area in there that you can't draw outside of. Again, you can draw on it from any layer. Then we have filter. If you go into here, it will bring you tons of filters that you can use on the specific layer that you're on. There are 75 filters in total. Some of them include adjusting color ones, which will change the color in the layer. Blurring layers, which will blur things in different ways on that layer. Style, change the style. Draw, these ones are a bit more difficult. AI, artistic, so this will make a bit more of a funky effect. Pixelate, will pixelate it. Transform will transform and distort it in certain ways. And frame, which will add frames. All of these can be useful for different things, so I would recommend having a look in here and checking them out. The blur is especially notable. If we just go into a basic one like Gaussian Blur, you will see it does that pretty well. And then we have the brush tool. This is the tool that you're automatically on unless you choose something else. And if you click on it, you can look in the brush menu, which you can also access by going down here. There are tons of brushes in this app, and I genuinely really like them. There's a lot of online ones that you can get too. Then you have the eraser, which is, you know, another really basic one. If you click on it, there's different types of erasers that you can get, but generally it's fine to just stick with the normal one. Then we have smudge. The smudge tool does as it says. There's a lot of different brushes for it, but it, they all basically work the same. It just means that you can smudge whatever layer that you're on, like this. So it's really self-explanatory and really simple, but it can be used for some pretty neat effects, especially in blending. Then we have Blur. Blur is another really self-explanatory one, just like Smudge. It will blur whatever you draw over on on that layer. Personally, I prefer using the filter blur sections than just hand blurring because I think they have nicer effects, but you can still use this one if you want. Again, there's different brushes with this, but they generally don't tend to make much of a difference. Then we have special. The special tool has a couple different sub tools in it, but this basically means that they can slightly distort whatever you have on your layer. It's automatically on drag, and as you can see here, it does literally just drag things ever so slightly. It has shrink, which again, self-explanatory, it will shrink part of whatever you put it on. Like so. We have expand, which does the opposite to shrink, as you can see here. And smoothen, which just smoothens things and makes them less bumpy. Then we have Revert, which essentially gets rid of whatever effects you've used on that layer. Then we have Bucket, which many people are familiar with. It is essentially a tool that can color in any area by just tapping it, keeping in mind boundaries and stuff. So let's just choose a different color here. And if we just click that background, it'll have changed color there because we tapped it there. 
It works with any color in most areas, although as you can see here, sometimes it has a bit of a pixelated outer edge, which is why I'd recommend being careful with it and maybe using the magic wand instead. Then you have text. This just means that you can tap somewhere and you can add text there. You can type in and there's a bunch of different options for font size, style, all that kind of stuff. Then we have frame divider. This essentially makes comic panels for you. Just click add frame somewhere. Change these settings however you want and you will see that there is now a frame on your canvas. And because now you have that frame, you can make your own comic panels by just dragging along. Some genuinely really good comics have been made with this format, and I think it looks really neat. Then we have the eyedropper. This tool means that you can go anywhere, basically just tap whatever color you like, and it will select that color and put it automatically as your brush color. Then we have canvas. In canvas, you can just edit the canvas as it says here. You can rotate it, invert it, change the size, resize it, a bunch of different stuff. That was all the basic brushes in Abyss Paint. I might do a more in-depth version of this at some point, but I don't want to make it too long. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!